Hi, this is the Science Chef. In this video, you'll be learning about the heat of neutralization and how to solve associated problems on heat of neutralization. All right, let's start. To calculate the standard heat of neutralization of a reaction, we apply the formula delta H theta equals to minus Q over N, where Q is the amount of heat released in the neutralization reaction between the acid and the base. N is the number of moles of either the acid or the base obtained by multiplying their molar concentrations and volumes in dm cube. Of course, the negative sign shows its exothermic value. As usual, to evaluate Q, we use Q equals to ms times cs times delta t, where ms is the mass of the solution mixture obtained by adding the volume of the acid and the base to get the volume of the solution, then multiplying by the density of the solution in grams per cm cube. Cs is the specific capacity of the solution and delta T is the change in temperature calculated as T2 minus T1. T1 is always the average of the initial temperatures of the acid and the base solutions, while T2 is the final temperature of the mixture. Let's now see how to apply this formula in solving problems on heat of neutralization. Example 1. 75 cm cube of 0.2 molar sodium hydroxide was added to 75 cm cube of 0.2 molar hydrochloric acid in a plastic beaker of negligible heat capacity. The initial temperature of the mixture was 14.7 degrees Celsius. This rose to 16.0 degrees Celsius. Calculate the standard enthalpy of neutralization given that the specific heat capacity of the solution is 4.2 joules per gram per degree Celsius. Solution 1. In this question, we are given the volumes and concentrations of the acid and the base, the initial and final temperatures of the reaction mixture and the specific heat capacity of the solution. We are also given the density of the solution and we are asked to calculate the enthalpy of neutralization. From the information provided, we will calculate the volume of the solution and invariably the mass of the solution. Using that, we will determine the value of Q and also calculate the number of moles of the acid or base and thereafter, we will use these variables to calculate the standard enthalpy of neutralization of the reaction. Alright, let's go. So volume of solution Vs equals Va plus Vb, which is 75 cm cube plus 75 cm cube. It gives us 150 cm cube. Good. But the density of solution is 1 gram per cm cube. Therefore, mass of solution equals volume of solution times density of solution, which gives us 150 cm cube times 1 gram per cm cube. So that equals 150 grams. Good. So we're now going to calculate these values into QS equals ms times cs times change in theta and that will be 150 grams times 4.2 joules per grams per degree celsius times change in temperature will be 16 minus 14.7 which is 1.3 degrees celsius 1.3 degrees celsius so this and this would go, this and this would go. So, if we evaluate this, we'll get 819 joules. As the heat released by the reaction mixture, it was used to raise the temperature of the solution. Then, for concentration in moles per dm cube and volume in dm cube, we are going to calculate the number of moles of the acid or base as follows. Number of moles of acid we go to concentration of acid times volume of acid. So concentration of acid that was given to us was 0.2 moles per dm cube. We are given 0.2 molar because molar is the same thing as moles per dm cube times 75 cm cube. 75 cm cube divided by 1000 give us 75 give us the value in dm cube. So if we evaluate this that will give us 0.015 mole. We are now going to divide the heat released by the solution by this number of moles to get the standard enthalpy of neutralization, which will be delta H 
n theta equal to minus q solution over n so this would be that would be 819 joules divided by 0 0.015 mole so if we evaluate this that will give us remember this will be negative minus 54 thousand six hundred joules per mole which is approximately minus fifty four point six kilojoules per mole so this gives us the value of the enthalpy of neutralization for that particular reaction yes it may not be exactly the same value because minus 7.1 kilojoules per mole is the theoretical value but in terms of the practical value it may be less it may be what higher there will be a slight what deviation all right so let's move on to the next question example two 50 cm cube of 0.33 mole per dm cube potassium hydroxide was added to 50 cm cube of 0.33 mole per dm cube trouser nitrate 5 acid solution in a caloric meter the initial temperatures of the two solutions were at 31 degrees Celsius and 33 degrees Celsius respectively. The temperature rose to 34.1 degrees Celsius. Given that heat capacity of the calorimeter was 0.488 joules per Kelvin, calculate the standard enthalpy of neutralization given that the specific heat capacity of the solution is 4.208 joules per gram per Kelvin. Solution 2. Here we are given the volumes and concentrations of the acid and the base the specific capacity of the solution, the final temperature of the solution mixture, and the density of the solution mixture. But unlike example 1, we are given the initial temperatures of the acid and the base, and the heat capacity of the calorimeter. So to get the initial temperature of the mixture, we would find the average of the initial temperatures of the acid and the base. That is T1 will be equal to Ta plus Tb all over 2 which is 33 plus 31 divided by 2 and this should give us 32 degrees celsius note that the heat capacity of the calorimeter is the product of its mass and specific heat capacity and it is given in joules per kelvin this is not a problem at all as when solving problems on heat capacity one kelvin is always equal to one degree celsius so there is no need for conversion. So let's continue. So the volume of solution Vs we call to Va plus Vb, which equals to 50 plus 50, that gives us 100 cm cube. But since the density of solution is 1 gram per cm cube, this implies that the mass of solution will be equal to volume of solution times density of solution which will be 100 cm cube times 1 gram per cm cube and that gives us 100 grams so the mass of the solution will be 100 grams so we're going to substitute the values of the parameters into the equation qs equals ms cs delta t plus mccc delta t which gives us mscs plus mccc delta t so it's equal to 100 grams times 4.208 joules per gram per degree celsius plus Remember, the mass of the calorimeter times the specific capacity of the calorimeter equals to the heat capacity of the calorimeter, which is given as 0.488 joules per degree Celsius. Since 1 Kelvin is the same thing as 1 degree Celsius. Okay, so this will be in bracket. Then we multiply everything here by the change in temperature, which will be 2.1 degrees Celsius. So evaluate that, that should give us 884-705 joules as the heat released by the reaction mixture which was used to raise the temperature of the solution. Therefore, concentration in moles per dm cube times volume in dm cube, we are going to calculate the number of moles of the acid or the base. 
this time let's calculate the number of moles of the base that will be concentration of the base times volume of the base so this gives us 0.33 moles per dm cube times 50 over 1000 dm cube so this will give us 0 0.0165 more. Please note that it's not every time that your volume of acid and base would be equal. Not the concentration of acid and base will be equal. They can be different, but the same principles will follow. Take note of that. Therefore, standard heat of neutralization will now be equal to minus Q over what? N. So substituting the values, that will be 884705 joules over 0 0.0165 mole of course negative will obtain 53,618.48 joules per mole which is approximately 53.618 kilojoules per mole yeah. We are leaving answers in three decimal places because the specific capacity of the solution and the heat capacity of the calorimeter that were given to us were given to us in three decimal word places. So our answer must also be in what? Three decimal places. Alright? So let's move to the last question. Example three. 